African filming community has been thrown into mourning as news of the death of the founder of the African Movie Academy Awards, Kiss Aya Musigwe, broke. Industry practitioners have now taken to different platforms to pay tribute to the legacy of the woman who stood at the forefront of the renaissance of African movie industry. Filmmaker Obie Melonye, a director and producer, confirmed a secret death on his Instagram page in the early hours of Tuesday. Obie wrote, Thank you and good night. Dada, peace. Also, filmmaker Zik Zulu and one of her predecessors at the Association of Movie Producers described her as one who shaped the movie industry while breaking the news of her passing on his page. Acclaimed filmmaker Kunlia Fulano posted a picture he shared with her with a short Western message. Hollywood filmmaker Jimmy Jane Lewis also described her as an industry pioneer. I am now being joined by Shaibo Seni, who is the current head of the jury of the African Movie Academy Awards and has worked closely with her for the past 18 years on the awards. Many thanks for joining us and please accept her sincere condolences on the passing away of the Yama founder. How much of a loss is this to the filming community in Africa generally? Well, thank you for having me. This is a huge loss. It's something we cannot quantify terms of putting the people to it, but it's huge loss. It's closer. I can go on and on looking for the right adjective to describe this loss, not just to us who worked very closely with her, not just the industry that she worked passionately for, not just Nigeria that she loved, not just Africa that she wanted to see rise, but indeed the global cinema space a global creative space. I just got off the phone with South African from a Ghanaian actress. She was in tears. I mean, I was trying to console her, but even she got me tearing too at once. So this is huge. She's very enthusiastic about anything that involves filming, generally. What do you suppose was her dream? What were her hopes to, that to, what did she hope to achieve with all of her activities in the industry? Look, she was one person who pursued so many dreams, but the biggest one for her was that she wanted a structured industry, not just in Nigeria, but in the continent of Africa. She wanted, you know, an industry where the filmmakers would be able to, I mean, stand on their own, they pull their own anywhere in the world. She wanted an industry where Africa could be seen as a superpower when it comes to cinema. Nigeria will be seen as a world leader when it comes to cinema, when it comes to the creative industry. She put in everything to make sure that, you know, she achieves that. And one of the things that all she did was to say, okay, look, since we are looking for validation from the, from the West and we are not getting Let's create a reward system, you know, in the continent, not just a Nigerian reward system, but a continental reward system that has become a global reward system. Let's get something going. And then she started off the African Movie Academy Awards. But before the African Movie Academy Awards, she had established AFA, which is the African Film Academy. It's actually the AFA that gave birth to the AMA, which is the African Movie Academy Awards. The AFA she set up as a training ground capacity building uh, uh, institution set up as a as as an as a platform that we galvanize the industry, get everybody together from the north, the south, the east and the west of Africa, get them together. And I I think at one point she even toyed with the idea of raising a film fund for the continent, not just for Nigeria, but for the continent. Uh, as a member of the AMA jury, how do you suppose that legacy that she had can be kept alive now that she's no more? You know, the, the, the thing about it is, uh, you know, there's something that God does. He doesn't allow us, I mean, we we'll always be praying for spirit of discernment so that when certain things happen, we we'll begin to see ahead of those things. Do you know that I never knew? Because for the first time, like first time in the 18 years of the Amas. When we finish the Amas in October, we normally, we take a holiday, uh, announce the entries by, by just sending out a press release. And then we now begin like 
in January, February, attending awards or uh, festivals around the world, letting people know about the awards scheme and the rest. But we finished this award in just October of this year, uh, in 2022. And in two weeks, they had sent every member of the board of Juros, they had sent us what will happen to the Amas from December 2nd, when we had that unveiling ceremony of the entries, and then the chairman of the selection committee, which was myself, from December 2nd to October 26th, 2023, when the AMA we hold. Everything that will happen from start of nomination, close of nomination, when the selection committee will start sitting, when the jurors should sit, when the nomination we hold, with specific dates. I'm afraid we have lost Shaibo Seni due to bad network. He is the current head of jury at the African Movie Academy Awards, and he has been speaking to us about the legacy of the late piece, I Am Osegre, the founder of the awards.